Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading, Sagittarius. We do, because we start with this Queen of Michael, and uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and here she is. I think she's the Queen of Swords. Not really sure, like, who she, you know, the exact, uh, you know, uh, kind of conversion here, or, you know, but this talks about, you know, exactly what to do, the benefit of experience. So somebody learned here about something. And of course, it's helping them, right? So experience is the best teacher. Not sitting in a class. Not saying you should never go to class, Sagittarius. I'm just saying that is the best teacher. Like an immersion, right? Hands on, doing it or learning, right? Uh, that's why the School of Hard Knocks is the best teacher. Yeah, you don't you have to pay for it financially, but you, sh you have to pay with your ass, right? You do. <laughs> you do, right? Just do CYA all the time, right? And so we have uh, <clears throat> a time, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. I find this to be highly uh, fascinating here because uh, this could be talking about a relationship over here. Uh, maybe somebody has learned here. Maybe this is, you know, this could be about your career uh, or relationships or both, right? Because I know for me, like, you know, I'm looking for, you know, um, like, like to, you know, I'm looking into new things basically, right? So we have the queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous, right? And so this is, you know, what somebody is, but they are this way because of some, it could have been a painful experience. It might've been here. We have the whip here. It's reversed though. And so we have wonders, opportunity, and forgiveness. And this was at the bottom of the deck, and this is beautiful crystal, and there's this energy passing through it. Uh, and opportunity is here. It's kind of interesting. It's at night. Maybe somebody's going to show up at night and try to get underneath the covers with you, Sagittarius. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's somebody at work, right? I don't know, because it talks about you know what to do about your job or something, right? Maybe your boss is your lover. I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. I've never really been in that situation, nor do I uh, care to, right? But let's see. Sometimes things happen, though, right? And uh, let's see what they say about wonders. And these wonders. Quartz crystal. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just around the corner. Exciting possibilities are waiting for you. Okay. So this is the wonders card and it's next to opportunity. So just around the corner, something great's going to happen for you, Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Sometimes they won't be apparent at first. Nevertheless, they are there. Okay. As long as you eventually see them, right? The more you see them and embrace them, the more these possibilities will grow in magnitude. You know, this can talk about something, some type of opportunity coming to you. And, you know, maybe you thought about it before and you're like, well, it's all right. But it could be like that, you know, something that you didn't think was maybe so awesome. Maybe you considered it, but now you're like, wow, right? It could be because it looks like there's change here and you're going to know what to do, right? Which is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. And there's learning here. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Sometimes they won't be uh, as apparent. Okay. Let go of expectations. Don't limit the way that you think that wondrous events could appear in your life. Something could be happening or some opportunity comes your way, but it comes, it comes your way in a funny way, right? Like maybe you haven't seen somebody in a really long time and I don't know, you go, uh, you go to you go to an Easter festival or you just go somewhere, right? And then you see that person there and it's like years later or something and then you guys get together. Uh, there's something here that is happening that is a little uh, unique kind of or not like every day out of the ordinary, right? Mm -hmm. That's what's going on here. Celebrate and uh, cherish even the smaller ones no matter how tiny they seem. Let go of expectations. You know, expectations are interesting because sometimes it means that we prejudge everything. Like we go, well, that person's a this and a that, and it's not going to work with them or something like that, right? Or that career that you wanted before, that opportunity, uh, I don't, I, you know, like you, like you prejudge. It's like a, it's not just an expectation. It's what you're expecting in the negative sometimes. That's what they mean about let go of expectations sometimes. 
Now, sometimes they mean like, you know, uh, just, just kind of, you know, feel it out and see and give it a chance, right? It can mean that too. It can't, uh, don't limit the way you think. Yeah. How these wondrous events can appear in your life. And then we have opportunity. Yeah. And moon through the pine trees. Yeah. Those are definitely pine trees. Mm hmm. An occasional owl hoot and the song of a solo coyote punctuate the stillness in the forest as a traveler walks through the pines. Yeah, it's beautiful here. And uh, let's see what it talks about, though. Gifts from the universe are ready to cascade into your life. Abundance, health, longevity, vitality, and joy are all flowing to you gently and easily in the days ahead. There may be times when the goodness of life feels like it is ebbing and flowing rather than it being a steady stream of fulfillment. This is similar to the moon peeking through the pine trees for a moment or two. But as you stay open and receptive, physical and emotional gifts will come into your life. Instead of bemoaning the fact that there isn't a steady and constant stream, instead of complaining, right, uh, of joy and gifts from the universe, accept whatever you receive in a spirit of gratitude and your bounty will increase tenfold. This is a universal law. Yeah, this is why, you know, this is why, uh, you know, we have to be grateful because you create that aura and then, you know, the law of attraction or they're saying this is the universal law. But uh, <clears throat> I feel like, uh, 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 what is it, um, kind of gratitude is one of the laws. But, you know, when you do that, you create that aura of, of gratefulness and, and then you can uh, attract more things into your life to be grateful for. It's that simple, right? We have forgiveness, Sagittarius. Yes. Will you please forgive me? Yeah, please, Sagittarius. Let's see what it says here, right? Maybe somebody wants you to forgive them. The sunset glow. Mm -hmm. As the sun sinks behind the horizon and the reds and oranges turn to the lavenders and deep purples of the ensuing night, the day is complete. Sunset signifies that a new cycle has begun. We enter into the realm of the dark unknown where magic and even the mystery of life itself seems to shimmer above us. To be regretting that the day is done is to miss the glory of the starry heavens above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't miss out. This this card is telling you to forgive somebody and, and concentrate on, focus on what's like positive between you and somebody. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, maybe this is, you know, a career partner or a business partner, but, uh, yeah, it is human to want to hold on to the past, our memories, experiences, and relationships. However, there can be times when we are carrying so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to recur in the future. Yeah. Just like, you know, like I always tell somebody, you know, don't bring, don't drag your heavy suitcases with you. Yeah. Don't do that from the past. Right. Because, uh, you're just hurting yourself. So the whip is here. It's in the reverse. This talks about stress, like, but going away, dissipating it's next to this forgiveness card, which Sagittarius really talks about like, <clears throat> like leave the past behind and forgive somebody. Right. And with the whip in the reverse, you know, this is further telling you to do this. This is a, a reading that is telling you to forgive somebody and be open to the wonders and the opportunities that are coming your way. Yeah, it's really beautiful, but it's, it's really telling you like kind of don't be stubborn uh, about the past. I feel like it is. And then we have the child. So this is for a new beginning again. It sure is. So, mm-hmm. And let's get into the reading for Sagittarius. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius today. And I hope you guys are all well. Uh, I'd be feeling well if I heard that reading. I sure would. Uh, but, you know, hey, <clears throat> it's not this, It's not for everybody because it's a general reading anyway. But let's see. The bottom of the deck is the Strength card. And this is Courage. And uh, the Chariot is here. The Ten of Cups. So I believe this is the Ten of Cups over here. Maybe it's not. I, actually, it's not. This is the Queen of Michael. This is brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. Uh, this is either... I don't really see the Queen of Swords as humorous, but maybe. Uh, this could be like... It doesn't, you know... It, it, this could be the Queen of Wands. It could be uh, possibly the Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe it's... I don't. I don't think it's the Queen of Pentacles or... It doesn't matter. It really doesn't, you guys. I'm looking at the energy anyway. So, it, you know, your person could be an earth sign 
or anybody, right? But this is the bottom of the deck. This is courage for movement and to have your happily ever after. Somebody has courage here. Maybe it's you. And they're no longer confused. And they've learned from the experience. Remember that card, Sagittarius, right? Was talking about the first one I just spoke of. This talks about you know what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for, okay, a time for your career or uh, rather than relationships. That's what it says, but uh, this can mean, it could just mean both, both. Let's see what else we have, Sagittarius. We have, mm -hmm, let's put these cards down and we'll, we'll call them out, right? Seven of Swords, Five of Swords reversed. OMG. There's an escape here. Because these Oracle cards don't talk about anything that is really wrong here. And so uh, I feel like somebody's escaping from some type of a situation here. Let me straighten the camera. They're, they have the courage to do this. Mm hmm. Because we have the Seven of Swords here, and this sits in the near future, and it could be now. But it's not in the past, for sure. So, Cap Sagittarius, you're in this Two of Swords energy. Like, I'm not, if you know this person, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Maybe you're kind of in this, in this, uh, maybe uh, your life right now, just in general, is kind of, uh, maybe something happened, and you're trying to, like, shift careers, possibly. Uh, or maybe just jobs, but, uh, you know, you had an experience and maybe it was a tough experience, but over here, you're kind of like, this could be this energy, like this could be in between sometimes the two of swords. Now let's see here, you know, uh, or I don't know what's, what maybe in the past, this sits in the past. I didn't know what to do in the past. Two of swords can be that kind of energy, right? Definitely. And so you have the six of pentacles and your supporting card is the page of cups i feel like you could be waiting some of you could be waiting to hear news yeah you could be you'd be waiting to find out if you have an opportunity with somebody you're in the devil why it's all happening is the devil Sagittarius, maybe, you know, you feel like you've been waiting and you've been maybe stuck, feeling stuck or in fear here, but this is probably somebody who is coming to ask for forgiveness. And we have uh, the sun card. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for clarity. Yeah, you're waiting for some type of news, some some type of clarity here. You do look like you have the moon, I mean the devil and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you don't know if this person's coming or not. And if they are like, it kind of looks like that. Or if they are maybe devoted to you or inspired or are you devoted? Are you coming or, mm -hmm. and if this is about your career here, Sagittarius, uh, you could have been maybe thinking it could be, you could have been, uh, possibly, um, maybe you are like forgiving somebody like on a career level, maybe just like, like not holding on to the past at all. Maybe you are wronged on a job. You could have, right? Possibly. And you learned exactly what to do now. Maybe you're just kind of leaving the past behind. Maybe it's not actually forgiving a person it could be forgiving, like maybe an institution or, you know, or just a, a staff or something like that, like people. Right. Uh, but in your challenge and your supporting energy is some type of like, it's like you're waiting for news here, but I feel like gaining clarity here possibly could have been hard for you if this is about career. Now, if this is love, you're waiting to hear news, definitely, right? Your challenge could have been about what to say if this is about a career, because this eight of pentacles can talk about career or can talk about love too. And in the past, here you were with this two of swords, this kid of card. And you have the Ace of Cups. So you didn't know if you were going to have a new beginning in love right here. Yeah. And so the Queen of, uh, the Queen, uh, the King, sorry, you guys, is the King of Swords is here with Gemini. This is your mindset or what's on your mind. 
And for me, it has to do with the decision. Has a choice been made in the near future? The seven and the ten of swords. Some the kind of ending going on here. Somebody's escaping to come be with you. They're going to ask you for forgiveness. Yeah, they are. Or you're escaping from something and maybe you're just forgiving somebody through the ether. It's just possible. I mean, we do those things, right? Even Louise Hay says, just do that. Because you're letting go of the energy, right? You don't even have to talk to somebody to do that. No, you don't. I mean, if you can talk to them, that's great. But, you know, if they're the monster from the Black Lagoon, then you're like, no, I don't think I want to talk to them, right? No. And you have the Five of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords. This is your concern. You could be wondering if a, a victory and a defeat, like a defeat has already happened here. I feel like that's what you're wondering here. If somebody has gone, left somebody here. If, a, if, a, if like a defeat has taken place, you maybe you're wondering here if this person is in despair. Definitely you're doing a lot of wondering here because you have the sun card sitting in the challenge and below here is, this, is the page of swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're waiting for news both. So here in your environment here is the, is the Knight of Cups. And we have with it the, the Ace of Swords. So you have a new beginning right here. And that's what all these cards were talking about. Wondrous, opportunity, forgiveness. You know exactly what to do. You've learned from some experience. And, you know, your last little Lenormand card here is the child. Right? It's a baby. It's not a baby. It's a, you know, she's, I don't know, how old is she? She's about three and a half right with all that hair on her head and you know even though my kids were born like that <laughs> the big old head of hair right so here capricorn uh sagittarius sorry uh in your environment here sagittarius is uh is i hope i didn't say capricorn yeah i hope i didn't because today i switched the order of doing the readings this is definitely sagittarius's reading but in your environment sagittarius is the knight of cups and the ace of swords and what you're hoping for here is uh the six of cups you want this person to return from the past and the world card look at that you're hoping that a cycle will end now maybe you are waiting for them uh and this is the cycle that you want to end but i feel like you want to like have a reunion it looks like right here's the ace of cups above it but in the near future is like an escape this is clear seven and ten of swords Let's see what else we have in the near future. And the Queen of Cups. Somebody's, maybe somebody's a water sign. And they're running away from, you know, maybe your person's running away from a water sign. Maybe you are. But there's definitely an escape here. And there's definitely a new beginning. Yeah, it's beautiful. And your outcome, Sagittarius, is, uh, is temperance. And that's you with your roller job. Let's see what else we got here. And the Fool card. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're going to heal the situation with this person. And uh, let's look at their oracle cards. We'll start the reading here for Sagittarius. And they have wisdom. And remember, Sagittarius, here is the Queen of Michael. It says the benefit of experience. Yeah, somebody learned. Yeah, I feel like it's your person. Uh, mm -hmm. And then over here, they have the Sun card. This is a very beautiful card uh, that, you know, talks about opportunities excuse me and everything becoming successful and the soul symbol card is at the bottom of the deck uh this is a really beautiful card this is like knowing that somebody is like your soulmate and things like that they have paradise the health card and the spirit symbol okay so here's the spirit symbol so this paradise card talks about them dreaming all about you sagittarius yes they are uh mm -hmm. they want forgiveness sagittarius the health card it, it, uh, it crosses them. It challenges or helps them. Let's see what they have to say about the health card. Yeah. And this is pay attention to diet and exercise more. Detox or de-stress. Now, this person, if they are dreaming about you here about this paradise that they want with you, they could be, uh, they could be thinking this, these dreaming about you is helping them kind of, de-stress 
But what I feel like this is doing in this reading is that your person is leaving something that's stressful and this is helping them uh, because here's kind of a bridge here. So this is helping them cross this bridge to get to you, this paradise. I'm pretty sure here. Mm -hmm. The health symbol is all about becoming healthier by giving up bad habits once and for all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Could you give yourself more rest or some time out from stressful situations? It's interesting because uh, this is here. And this is the whip. It's in the reverse. This is like de-stressing as well. This person thinks that when they come to you, if you forgive them, that it's going to be healthier for them. I feel like they're stressed out or they're trying to leave a situation that has been stressing them out. That could have been the seven and the ten of swords in the near future, right? Mm -hmm. With relationships, you could be heavily in demand with helping family members or friends through an illness, emotional upset, or depression. Maybe their person is depressed, But whatever it is that's going on that your person is helping or doing something here, uh, whatever they're going through, it's, uh, it's helping them have this paradise with you because they know when they cross this little bridge that they're going to be in a healthier and a happier place. I feel like your person's going through something hard here. Daydreaming about a better life. This is what they're doing now. Castles in the sky, escapism. That's why the Seven of Swords sits here. This person's escaping from their situation here sits in your near future and the spirit symbol is uh why it's all happening sagittarius let's have a look at the spirit symbol and this is vitality intuition and spiritual energy at high levels messages from above justice this is why it's all happening here your person has a lot of they have the vitality here to come to you uh, but they're trusting their intuition here uh, the benefit of experience is over here and I just feel like this person probably went through some type of an awakening. This symbol, interesting, this symbol appears when you need to stick up for yourself or others. You will appear to have more energy than usual and find yourself in situations that you would have walked away from before, only now to con only to now confront head on. So this person could have walked away from you in the past, Sagittarius, or you walked away from the past, from them in the past, and now they're ready to confront this. And I feel like this confronting is more like, please forgive me right here with the forgiveness card. And, you know, as I said, uh, leave the past behind. That's what they want you to do. And that's what's in your best interest in this particular reading. Yeah, it is. And so uh, this talks about you could develop stronger bonds with people on your wavelength. Someone watching over you from the heavens could send you a special new love interest, which will change your life dramatically if that's what you need to continue your next life chapter relationships now not working now could suddenly end as you search for deeper meaning to your life and deeper soul connections that's what this person is doing they're ending something that hasn't been working i'm pretty sure here it could be their way of life but it looks like a relationship it does we're going to end the reading and we're going to go to the extended sagittarius uh yeah we are and we're going to also see sagittarius uh the underlying energies and how they are seeing this whole situation uh, and we'll start that right here. We will. Let's see what uh, these cards have to say for Sagittarius's person. And we're, this is going to be a 10-card spread. Both of them will be. Let's see the underlying energies. And they have uh, the Nine of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed. So your person doesn't have their wish here. This talks about unfulfilled wishes when we see the Nine of Cups reversed. And the King of Cups reversed is... Uh, it could be uh, many things here. It could be a water sign, ten of cups. But definitely, uh, you know, this could be, you know, this could be your person taking courage and love. It could, it could be, right? But definitely here, the ten of cups is here with the nine of cups reversed. Like, Sagittarius is my happily ever after, and I'm living in a situation uh, where I don't have my wish. Like, it's Sagittarius is an unfulfilled wish. This is like un, unfulfilled, uh, unfinished business. And how they are seeing this is the Ace of Wands. You see a new opportunity, a passionate new opportunity in love. This person is excited to come forward. And we're going to continue this. We're going to see who or what's in their environment, how they feel about you, and what they want to say to you. What's been holding this person back in their life, basically, or maybe to come forward. But 
uh, or both. We're going to find that out. And what they hide, Sagittarius, or what's deep in their heart, right? We're going to find that out and uh, their outcome. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. They're all super affordable. I have the link in the description box below. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please remember, Sagittarius, to type in Power and Light Tarot if you want to see my readings. That way, for sure, uh, you won't miss one, right? Yeah, because um, make sure you're notifying. You're really notifying yourself. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys.